The next episode of the Azami Spot series is here, and we're going to take a look at the best Azami Spots on, shall we? Now, before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go down into the comment section, let us know what the next map in the series you would like it to see. And without me talking anymore, let's get started. <music> What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries once again teaming up with Elevate and we're starting off here in the basement level of Chalet for some of the Azami setups. Now this is in the blue hallway and this is such a sick setup that you can use. So what you can do here is if you place a barrier on the electrical box on the handle coming off of it and then on the wooden beam just off the bottom of the stairs right up in the corner exactly where I pinpointed on screen you can create a one-way pixel angle onto the staircase. This is way stronger than just putting it right on the middle of the stairs on that beam. This is just such a strong position to be in. They'll come down the stairs and they cannot see you and because of that small gap in the barrier you can pick them off. You can see here from the other perspective how strong this is they cannot see anything and you can just see a small little gap where i would be sitting and you can pick people off as they make their way down the stairs Now just moving over into snowmobile for the next couple really straightforward here on the wooden beam on the stairs placing a barrier will just give you that extra little bit of help in securing someone coming down that staircase they will not be able to see you they'll have to crouch in under the barrier to be able to get any shots onto that blue door and you can pick them off before they even get into the site mm -hmm. The good thing about the way this barrier is set up is because it's a little bit away from the stairs they have to push in to the view of connector when trying to break it which means you can get shots off from inside connector. Now the next one for here is again straightforward but it covers that main wall by placing it on the snowmobile you can move between the blue door and the rotate safely as they're trying to push that main wall. Now we're moving over into wine for these next couple. So on this little wine rack shelf here, on the second bottle, just in between the second and third bottle, if you place a keeper barrier, you'll be able to get a small pixel angle out the door towards the trench door area. So this is just a really strong setup here, making sure to put it in between the bottles so that gives you this perfect little pixel angle to keep control and it also helps in stopping them from shooting through that shelf to get any of the utility off the wall. Well, the next one is just over on the other side of the room on the very corner of the desk if you place it again you get that really nice pixel angle for anyone coming in that trench door into that hallway and trying to push into the back of the site. upstairs into the office site for this setup and this is like a complete setup here for this room and i love this little setup shout out to kudos for finding this one so if you place the barrier on the back of the desk right here and then if you place a second barrier on the other side of the desk this creates a little spot for you to sit up on top of now you can expand on this by placing a third barrier on the wooden beam above that little half wall which gives you that extra little angle down onto anyone pushing into trying to get that default plant down. Now what you can do is sit up on this desk watching for anyone breaking open that wall coming into the site. You can pick them off. You also have the protection behind you for anyone coming up to that solar door and you've made head holes in the top of the wall so you can turn around and pick them off. Now you can add to this by having one on the top of the canine door. So if they do try to swing that door to try and take you off of that position, you again will have waist height shots onto them and they will not be able to see you at all. Now this is a really straightforward one for piano. Now I like to do it a little bit differently here. A lot of people put it on the back of the piano right here, which I feel like it's just really high up and you can't get a good control of the piano area. So I place it on the front, right on the corner there. And what this does is you can jump up on top to use it to get picks on them pushing the door, or you can sit behind the piano and peek out safely, including on this right hand side here, you get a little bit of a pixel angle onto the door so they can't pick you off easily. 
Whereas if you put it on the back of the piano, you have to fully swing out in order to get a shot on the piano door, which leaves your whole body exposed to being picked off. Now we're down into the dining area for these next ones, and this one's right over here in the back of the room where all the bushes are. If you place it on the very top of the wooden part of this little pot area, you can sit behind it and use it as a really strong power position as they're pushing from the front side of the site. Now you can add to this by putting one on the door, which again creates a pixel angle onto the door as they're pushing. So it's a really strong little position to sit in and it can give you a lot of intel too so that you can pass on to your teammates so they can help you secure the round. Now a great way to protect this kitchen door and use it as a really strong pixel angle right on this chair exactly where I pinpointed if you place a keeper barrier it actually leaves a small gap between the crates and the barrier so when they have that wall open you can be able to pick them off and they will have a really difficult time trying to get you. Now this next one's for inside kitchen. On this extractor fan above, if you place it right on the top of that little metal piece there, you'll leave a small pixel angle underneath the barrier towards trophy. So if they're pushing in the trophy window or coming down from solar stairs, coming out the door, you will have a really strong little position there to pick them off. Now these last couple is inside the bar area, really straightforward setup here. Putting one on the top of the door gives you that waist angle again, where they'll have a much more difficult time trying to pick you off as you can use the bar as cover. And then for the other door in that kind of long main hallway, if you place one on the top of the door and then a second barrier on the bottom of the corner of the shelf with the wine in it, you will have again a very strong angle onto them swinging that doorway. You can really see here that this is a really strong little position to be in sitting behind the bar here with the Kiba barrier set up you can watch both doors of course there's a possibility of them pushing in towards the game site but you could have a good setup there maybe reinforce a couple of the walls to protect yourself and you have a strong position to secure the round so I really hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Make sure to go down into the comment section. Let us know what the next Azami Spots video you'd like to see, which map you want to see us show you. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video. And of course, if you have not got your hands on any of the Elevate bundles, they are all available in the or 6 shop. The most recent one, the Maverick bundle, is fire. And I guarantee you, if you put it on and play Maverick, you're going to win more rounds because everything in that bundle is amazing. So until the next time, I'll talk to you in the next one.